first, I want to start off by introducing myself. My name is Omar from the Gryffindor House. Yes. Um, uh, would any of you guys be willing to give up your cell phone for a whole year just to win this trophy? Well, according to USA Today, 29% of fantasy football players would give up their phone just to win this trophy. Another 40% of people would give up drinking alcohol for a whole year just to have this in their house for a full year. Um, let's see, um, right now, I just want to introduce you guys to my artifact, what it is. It's a fantasy football trophy. I know it might seem kind of lame. It's something you guys probably don't understand. But um, by the end of this presentation, what I want to do is I want to give you guys an understanding in hopes that maybe by the end of this presentation, it may not be fantasy football, maybe fantasy baseball, whatever sport you guys are into, that maybe you might get into it. According to uh, NFL.com, fantasy football is an inter interactive competition where um, people like us, we act as managers of players. So what we do is we go and we pick all these random players, and what we do is we get to choose what, when we want them to play against each other. And it's a competition usually against friends, family members, or coworkers. All you need is about six to eight people, no, six to 16 people who are willing to play. And what happens when you're playing, all you have to do is you guys go and you guys do a draft. And when you guys are drafting, you guys have to choose the players you guys want to use in this fantasy football. Usually it is about, you get to choose one quarterback, two to three running backs, two to three receivers, a kicker and a defense. So pretty much what that does, you just get to set up your team. Every week it depends on how your team plays. That's how many points you get. So you might have a running back from the Raiders and your quarterback might be from the Denver Broncos. So depending how good your team does, that's how many points you get. So the reason why I identify with this culture is because um, it's my first season playing fantasy football with my friends and my two brothers. We all play together in the same league. And um, what it's done to me, it's really made me closer to my brothers and my friends. Since I came to school, I haven't really had time to hang out with them or really do much with them. But now that we're all in this fantasy football league, we all just get along with each other and we talk crap to each other. And it's fun, it's a big competition. At the end of the day, I might not win this, but throughout the whole year, I will be closer to my friends and family. Also, another thing, this trophy doesn't only represent fantasy football. It represents all the bragging rights. So when you win fantasy football, you get to take this to your house, and you hold on to this for a whole year until the next season's over, until you give it to the next person that wins. So there's money involved as well. So you could win up to, like, depending how, many, how much money the people put in, you could win from anywhere. There's some leagues that you could win thousands of dollars. There's another league where you have to get a tattoo. So the last per last person in last place, the first place winner gets to give them a tattoo. There's been this guy, he got a tattoo of Justin Bieber riding a unicorn. <laughs> so he gets pretty insane. But to me, it's not really about the money. It's about the bragging rights. Because right now in our league, you'll win $200 at my last two, three months. You fill up your tank twice, three times, depending on how big your car is. But this, it's going to last the whole year. And you get to brag about it. That's what it's all about for me. So, hopefully, uh, so that's how I relate about it. So, hopefully by the end of this speech, I've been able to help you guys get an understanding how I relate to it, why I relate to it. And maybe by the end of this, you guys might be interested in checking out fantasy sports. Not only fantasy football, but if you guys are into baseball, soccer, there's fantasy everything. If you could keep points more on it, you could make a fantasy league. I think so. I think by the end of this, you guys might be interested in it. Thank you.